1988, you you worked out a, a deal, to my understanding, with uh, Jim Crockett Promotions and the NWA, and and <laughs> ha, ha, here 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 it comes Here's right. Here's yeah. Yeah. And uh, you, you had a couple of cards that featured like top talents, including Flair, Sting, Luger, and anyway, uh, didn't do so well. Anyway, uh, now I'm looking for new tapes, you know, because uh, uh, I fired every local guy that I had on my card, so I need new talent. So I went to Vegas, and that's where I met, uh, I think it was David Crockett, I believe. David, is it named David's first name? or Yes. David Crockett David, was right? Jim's brother, is yeah, Jim's Rick brother. Was all there was a whole the whole crew was in Las Vegas Casino there. And I've seen, I've seen uh, Rick Flair lose $275,000 playing a roulette. But beside the point, that was his business. Wow. So I closed a deal with them. And uh, I bought two shows from them, which, uh, uh, like I said, Brandon Winnipeg Arena. It cost me $25,000 and uh, plus the plane fare. And uh, it dropped pretty good. I didn't lose any money. But uh, what happens that a uh, guy named Jim Jim Bur uh, Jim Burnett? That's I remember the name. Uh, Jim Burnett. He was the head man or booker. Or I don't know what he was. Jim Tony Barnett. Hey. Eh? Jim Barnett. Jim Barnett. Yes. Yeah, so Tony, the way he used to talk, you know. Tony, would you give Ric Flair and the manager? I forgot his name. The manager used to be there. Manager, manager, manager. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Can you give them three thousand dollars to spend Canadian money to spend their money? I says no problem. So I give them three thousand dollars. They sign for it, and they, Jim, this Jim Burnett, is supposed to pay for the referees. So says so, so we'll send you a check. So anyway, I received the checks for the referees, but no my three thousand dollars. I phone Mister Jim Burnett, the Mister Burnett. So where's my three thousand dollars? Oh, my secretary, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, what happened? I never received the $3,000. Now, what I did was I had to pay for the play fare, which is $8,000. And uh, I, I wrote him a check. So what I did, I stopped paying on that check. And I know very well now what's going to happen. I got a call from uh, Cowboy Bill Watts. And I tell you, Tony, watch out! These people, they might stiff you because they, they sold it, they sold the business to Atlanta. Okay. So anyway, what happened? I did not give them the uh, the eight thousand dollars because I saw paying on the check. So I got a call from Mr. Jim Burnett, which is dead now. I understand. Mm. Audi, your check came back NSF. No, I don't write NSF checks if I don't have any money in the bank. The, start, the check reads, stop payment. Where's my $3,000? And I'll give you the 8000 no problem. But what they do now, they, 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 they hire a lawyer from Winnipeg here. And I went to see this lawyer. I said, well, there's a problem, sir. See, all these people, $8,000. They are correct. But they owe me $3,000. I said, what well, we'll do, just to close this deal. He says, give me a receipt. I give you $5,000. They owe me 3000 I give you five thousand. We're square. So simple. I never did. Okay, that's fine. You want to go any further? I said, no problem. I run his face for six, seven months. I'll sue him. He owes me thousands and thousands of dollars. They mind eight thousand dollars. I don't want to do that. But that's what they want to do. It's no problem at all. And they never heard no more from them. That was the end of that. Well. So in other words, I gained five thousand. 